Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up solid affiliate from beginning to end. Um, and I'm going to do much more than that. I'm going to show you how to do a dark mode design. That's not um, possible out of the box. Uh, you got to add a bunch of CSS. If you have a website that needs a dark mode, look, uh, we're going to look at the testing process, um, testing the affiliate process, um, all that good stuff. Uh, talk a little bit about performance, um, things that you don't always see when people review plugins like this. Uh, a lot of times they just touch on the surface of the solution, um, walk through some settings, you know, don't really go in depth, you know, just to get that affiliate commission and stuff like that. But that's not what we're doing here. We're deep diving into the plugin uh, and really seeing how it works from beginning to end. Um, and when you're done with this video, you'll be able to set up solid affiliate on your site very simply, okay? I've already done all the hard work. Uh, I've spent days um, doing this for myself, documenting it, um, and then of course this video, okay? So let's go ahead and roll, get rolling here. We're, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna set this up live on one of my own businesses. So I've got solid affiliate running on a couple already. Um, in, in this video, we're gonna launch it on my final uh, business website. So we're gonna do that live right here together, okay? Uh, so from the My Listing Club website, that's mylisting.club, you can see the guide that I'm gonna use for this video by going up under menu and then resources. You'll also see right here, I wanna point out this new affiliates link here in the, um, the menu. So this is live now in the My Listing Club. If you wanna sign up to be an affiliate, um, it's literally gonna be the exact same program configuration that we're gonna set up here live together, okay? So if you wanna check that out. Okay, so under resources, we're gonna go to got, filter by the guides and it's gonna be this one right here. Skyrocket sales and website adoption using solid affiliate, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and click into that. This is the guide we're gonna be working from. You can see it's pretty extensive. Um, I'm gonna drag this over to my other screen and I'm gonna follow along um, verbatim with this, with this, okay? All right. So that's now on my other screen. What I've got here um, on my on my screen currently is my my business uh, that we're going to put this put this on. OK, um, real quick, a bit of housekeeping uh, with the guide. I'm just going to read through some stuff before we start the setup. Um, as I said, for this guide, we'll work with Solid Affiliate. It's a plugin that gives you everything you need to run an affiliate program with WooCommerce. Solid Affiliate makes it easy to manage, track, and pay your affiliates from the comfort of your WordPress dashboard. In this guide, I'll be documenting my process of implementing this for the club. And while the club is obviously not a my listing website, um, I, I use Elementor, I use WooCommerce, it's the same exact principles. But what is what I am gonna show you though is the difference between a regular WordPress site um, and, a, and a my listing uh, themed website. So I'm gonna show you both of those differences. Um, uh, it's, it's very minor differences. It has to do with WooCommerce endpoints. That's that's the only real difference, okay? But I'm gonna show you that as part of this video. Okay, so the principles are the same. We have the same websites. I just have a different theme. It doesn't really matter. It's the WooCommerce is what the key is here, okay? Solid Affiliate offers a free seven-day trial, no restrictions, full-blown, use it however you want uh, for seven days, okay? Um, and then... Through the club, you can get a 60% off discount for solid affiliate. That's crazy generous. Uh, the last the last note I'll make here, and then we're gonna get into the setup. It's safe to assume if I don't mention a setting specifically in the guide or in this video, that it was either A, I just went with the defaults and that I thought that was fine, or B, it's just too simple of an, a, a setting, no brainer, like I didn't even need to mention it. Like you'll, But in the end, I do recommend you look at all the settings uh, as you have time just to see what all is in there. Okay. All right, let's get rolling here. Setup wizard. So we're going to download, install, and activate the solid affiliate plugin. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so let's go ahead and activate this. Um, the next step would be, you know, we're going to run through the setup wizard. Uh, it's going to ask us for uh, a key, like I said, but we're just going to skip that part um, just because it's fully functional and uh, we don't, I'll, I'll enter my key uh, after, after the video. Okay. All right. So go ahead and click get started here. 
uh, page title. This is just for your affiliate portal setup. Uh, I'm going to change this, um, this slug to affiliate portal. Okay. Um, Actually, you know what? I take that back. I decided not to do that. So I'm just gonna, we're just gonna roll with the default as it is. Um, let's go back and make sure. There we go. So we're just gonna roll with the default, continue here. I forget, I, I forgot I did a couple iterations of this. Um, default commission rate, I'm gonna set a 20% commission for my affiliates. Subscri subscription renewal rates. If you're running subscriptions on your site, so like uh, my listing website, if you're doing listing subscription packages for, um, for those listing plans and whatnot, then this, this will show up there. Um, so what I'm going to do for, um, the renewal. So this is like every month, I'm going to make this a lower amount. I'm going to do a 5%. So if, if you buy a subscription, you're going to get a 20% and then the next month and the month after, and so on, you're going to get that 5%. So it's a lower, but it's, it's a constant lifetime, um, commission rate as long as they keep that subscription active. Okay. All right, email notifications, that's fine. It's just going uh, to me with my company name. Affiliate coupons. Um, for this, this is giving your affiliates a coupon to use um, that they can send their friends, uh, their communities, the, their followers, whatever, um, to help them get a jump start on uh, um, being an affiliate for you. So it really helps them with their sales. Uh, what I did here is did a flat amount and just I made this ten dollars. Okay. So affiliate sends out their link. Uh, their friend use can use the ten dollar coupon. Um, so instant store credit right away. All right. Under advanced settings, you can leave. I left left everything here as is. So we're just gonna uh, one time use is the top line here, and then exclude sale items. I chose to do so. Just the defaults. Some of the defaults I will talk about here, as you can see. All right, let's continue on. Work with your existing users. This is a really important one. Um, I do not recommend this. And, and the reason for that is uh, if, if people aren't expecting to see this from you and they don't wanna see this from you, they could mark it as spam, they could, um, they can do all kinds of things and it could be not good for your email system, depending on what you're using. Uh, instead, I recommend just to hit the skip button here and, and use your email marketing platform to make the announcement that way. Um, this is a nice convenient thing. It's, it's just, I, I just, I just wouldn't use it myself because I, you don't have a lot of control with what's going on here. And it's just, it's just not good in my opinion um, to use this if you have an email marketing system. If you don't have an email marketing system like MailPut, which is what I use, maybe you can roll the dice. I just, I, th I think I would go for a different approach here is what I'm trying to say. So I'm gonna go ahead and click skip here. Okay, and this is where you put in your license key and I'm just gonna skip for now to get that free seven day fully functional trial. All right, so now we're gonna continue on with the, the setup there. Here, um, let me see, I'm gonna make sure I didn't uh, I did have a special note. If you do decide to use that affiliate coupon like I, I use, um, I wanted to make you aware that um, the coupon will be placed actually here. So if we go under um, marketing and coupons, that coupon is gonna be placed right here. So I didn't want you to go, uh, and this is a template coupon. You don't wanna delete this. You wanna keep this around. You can rename it. I actually like to rename it um, to uh, just template so I know what it is. You just don't want to delete it, okay? But anyway, I wanted to point this out because when I initially set this up, I was hunting all around um, solid affiliate settings, trying to find where that coupon was. And dummy me, it was you know sitting under WooCommerce the whole time. So I wanted to save you guys some time there. Uh, I also have a note here about refer a friend. When you use that coupon um, option, it's, it's kind of a really cool way. It's like a refer a friend system is already built in just by using that, so. Pretty cool. Um, we went through that, we went through that. Oh, and the other thing too is that when I, that setting with about sending out the emails to your existing users and customers and whatnot, and I said to not do that, that box will only show up if you have existing users. So if you're not, if you're going through, it's like a brand new build, 
um, and you don't have any users on there, and you're not you're not seeing that box. That that's that's why. Okay. Um, all right, I think we're good. Let's go on to settings now. So we're gonna move on to get my face out of the way. Um, solid affiliate and then settings right here. Okay, uh, so let's see what I set here. Uh, URL tracking. So under the URL tr URL tracking section, um, I chose to rename this variable to friend. So it's it's a little more friendly, you know, friend friendly. Another reason I do that is, um, as I note here in the in the guide, while you might use solid affiliate and never switch to another affiliate solution, setting a universal variable is still good. So universal variable in this case is just a universal name. So friend as opposed to SLD, which, you know, stands for solid, right? Um, that way, if you ever change your links, stand a good chance of carrying over and not breaking. So if, let's say you were to switch from this, from solid affiliate to another affiliate program, and you were to use that same friend slug, you don't have to make changes that way. Like it's still gonna be the same slug most likely, okay? All right, dropping down under other referral, let me see what I changed. New customer commissions, so, uh, I toggle this on. I only want to award for new customers, not existing customers. Uh, enable zero value referrals. Uh, let's see, what's that under here? Enable zero value. There we go, right, right here. Um, I turn this off. Enable zero. Like I don't need to track referrals when there's there's no credit. Like it doesn't really matter to me. So I turn that off. Prevent. Self-referral, this next one down, I turn that on. That's for obvious reasons. Otherwise people can abuse it and use their own um, coupons, their own tracking, their own affiliate commission um, stuff to, you know, to get, sorry, let me slow down. By preventing this, it, it prevents abuse. Like, so like uh, the affiliates can't just use their account to get discounts, to get, um, to get commissions and things like that. So you definitely want to check that on in my opinion. Minimum payout amount, because I am choosing to do store credit and not an actual cash payout, um, I don't care what the minimum payout is. I'm, I just set that to zero here, okay? Um, so after the grace period, which I roll with the default grace period here of 30 days. So what that's saying is uh, somebody purchases under the uh, affiliates link, um, they get that sale, uh, the, they have to wait 30 days before the the store credit actually hits their account. And the reason that that's important is because what if somebody, what if you give that affiliate their the, you know their payout right away? Um, say you pay them fifty dollars in, in a payout, but then that customer they referred then turns right around within before that 30 days and and does a refund or a chargeback or just a jerk, you know, or whatever. Um, you, you lose that $50 you paid the affiliate and then you lose the sale. So you, you just lost $50 for nothing, right? So the grace period allows um, for that refund period to kick in, um, to pass, I should say. All right, so it kind of depends on your refund policy. Um, so what I'm saying here is the default. After 30 days, let's go ahead and let's assume that the person is not gonna do a refund at that point and let's award the affiliate, okay? If you're doing store credit, um, you would you might think that once even a dollar store credit is earned, you might think that that pops into the affiliate portal. It doesn't. It's that's it's it acts the same way. It's, it has to be past this grace period. Okay. All right. So that is the last setting in that section. Um, I mentioned in the store credit um, is how I'm doing it and why I'm setting it up this way. Cool. All right. So that's good. So lifetime commissions. I wanna go ahead and enable this setting. Um, so what that allows to do is the affiliate to keep getting that referral for the life of like a subscription. So every time that subscription renews, um, that kicks in. And that that customer that they referred is basically, it's their customer for life. You know, that's actually more accurate of what this setting does. So if you refer John Smith, um, then John Smith is yours for the life of uh, the affiliate program, okay? All right, affiliate portal and registration. I'm gonna go ahead and save my changes here. All right, we're gonna jump down to the next tab, affiliate portal and registration. 
All right, let's see what I set here. Under affiliate registration, I set require affiliate registration approval. Uh, let's see, what, sorry, what did I say that was? Uh, affiliate registration. Oh yeah, sorry, this very first one. I am not doing approvals. I don't, I don't, I don't care personally. I'm gonna approve anybody that's got a user account in my listing club. Um, yeah, so no need to approve. It's just an administrative headache that I don't, I don't need. It's noise that I don't need. If you want to be an affiliate for the club and help me build this thing, then awesome. Um, I don't need to be, I don't need to approve you. Just do your thing. Uh, the affiliate portal section, uh, what I did here was, um, change the affiliate portal forms to be, to show only the affiliate registration form. And this is gonna make more sense here as we go along in this video. It won't right now, but it will, okay? Uh, logout link, I chose not to show this. Um, I think that'll also make sense here in a bit. Hidden affiliate portal tabs down here. I chose to hide the payouts tab because we're not doing payouts. We're doing store credit. I'm doing store credit, I should say. As you see right here in the bottom, there's a separate store credit tab, okay? So we don't need payouts. I don't need payouts. Um, and I don't need settings um, because nobody needs this one because if you're an affiliate and you actually try to go to the settings tab, it won't let you. This throws an error message, okay? It says you can't you can't change any setting because you're not an admin. So there's to me, in my opinion, um, if you're watching this, um, solid affiliate, I would probably disable this by default if it were me. Uh, what else? Yep. That's cool. All right. So let's move down to the custom registration form section here. You want to choose your terms. So I'm going to choose terms of service here. Uh, just choose your terms of use page and then, uh, set your label. Um, because I am a one man business. Um, I'm going to set this to what I set this here. Yeah, I just let's see. I agree to the terms of service and privacy policy because there's no there's no hour. It's just me. So I agree to the terms and service, blah, 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 blah. Uh, what else did I change? OK, that was it in that section. And that is it for this whole tab. So let's save our changes again. Next up is the custom registration form. Move over to that tab. Uh, really cool stuff here. You can drag and drop these fields around. Um, you can add a bunch of fields. There's a lot of really cool stuff you can do here. Um, I didn't do anything. I just went with what's built in. I didn't feel like I needed to add anything at this time, so I left it there. Uh, what I do want to say, though, is if you have a dark mode website, this looks great if you have a light mode website, but if you have a dark mode website, then um, you need to do, I would do more. Uh, and I did more and I did a lot more. So um, out of the box, you can see what this looks like. So if we go to the front end here and I type in affiliates, actually it's affiliate, sorry. Um, this is what you get out of the box, it doesn't look great um, because it's, again, because it's dark mode. Um, it is inheriting some of my CSS. Um, so that's part of why it looks the way it does. But if if your site is this white mode, um, light mode, I should say, um, you, it should be fine, depending on the CSS you have. But in my testing is fine. Because I have dark mode again, the, I need some tweaking, okay? So in the guide, um, I give you a, a huge, here, I'll just bring this over here. You know what, I'll just copy it and then I'll, I'll show it to you there. All right, so I've copied it. I've done a lot of dark mode CSS, so I'm gonna drop that into the site. And to do that, I'm gonna go to WP Code Box. I'm gonna do a new snippet. I'm just gonna call this Solid Affiliate. Okay, it is a CSS snippet. Okay, let's drop that in. You, and here you can see how much there was. I spent a lot of time on this. Um, if you're watching this solid affiliate, you know, feel free to use this or ask me for this and I'll send it to you uh, if you like it. Um, but a lot of your customers may like it. I'm not sure, we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna save this real quick. I'm gonna jump over to the condition builder. I'm gonna add a condition. I only want to apply this CSS if the current post is 
the affiliate portal. So for performance reasons, we don't want all that CSS loading on every page of our website uh, when there's not, it has nothing to do with the affiliate um, system, okay? So we won't only want to apply the CSS to the affiliate portal. That is the beauty, one of the many beauties of WP Code Box, all right? So let's save that again, and now I'm gonna enable it, okay? Now let's check this out and see what we got. There we go. Um, because you're the admin, you're seeing this. Because I'm logged in as the admin, we're seeing this. The customer, the affiliate will not see this. So don't worry about how ugly that part is. The focus here is this, how much better that looks, okay? You know, all that good stuff. All right, so I wanted to quickly show you that. And that is, like I said, that is in the guide. You can just copy and paste, adjust the colors as you would like, okay? Uh, what else? What else? I showed you an image of the preview of how that's going to look. That's cool. Okay. Now a little more complicated, but I make it easier for you, but it was complicated to, to think through this and get it going. We need an affiliate endpoint. What is an affiliate endpoint? So going to the front end of the site and I go up under menu and I go to my account, just like you're doing with a, a my listing website. Okay. Uh, you've got the endpoints. Um, we, as you see here, there's no endpoint for affiliates. So where's that portal? The portal's got to live somewhere. Either you got to create a custom page and drop the affiliate portal short code in there from solid affiliate. Um, but I just wanted to, I didn't want to mess with any of that. I just want to just drop, you know, embed the portal right here into the, my account. Okay. So that's, that's what we're doing. And let me quickly do, um, and, uh, let me quickly read from the guide, um, what I wrote here, why this is needed. If you refer to the affiliate portal setting earlier in this guide, you'll notice that I set the portal only to show the registration form and not the login form. This decision will become clear as you read on. So that's uh, what I set up there. Using the default setup of displaying the registration and login form for all to see and access presents a problem if you're not a fan of having people log into the back end of WordPress. Okay? So what that means is if if you were to show the login form too, and let's say the user starts typing in their username and that they are already a user on your website, or they put in their email address um, and they're already a user on your website, the system's gonna recognize that, solid affiliate will, and they're gonna pop up a notification with a link to, to log in first with their WordPress account. That link actually takes them to the WordPress dashboard, which in my opinion is a bad look. Uh, again, solid affiliate. I've mentioned this to you in a, uh, in, a in an email, uh, but I I, I think what I've done here is better. Uh, at least for me, uh, in my businesses, I think it's better. I don't want people to see that that WordPress dashboard login. Uh, it, one of the the cons of doing that, aside from it just not looking good, is that if you have a secure URL, it's going to be exposed. It's going to show in the URL bar. You don't want that either. Now you could design you could design your uh, WordPress dashboard page to make it more appealing and look better with your branding and stuff, but that's just extra work uh, if you haven't already chosen to do that. So I think what I've done here is better, and um, you can let me know if you feel that way. Okay. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Let's. What we're going to do is we're going to drop in a menu item called an endpoint right here into the Woo WooCommerce dashboard, okay? Really simple to set up. This is in the guide, super easy. You're just gonna grab a code snippet and um, drop. come back over here in WB Code Box. We're gonna create a new snippet. We're gonna call this one, um, actually here, let me drop the code in first and then I'm just gonna copy the name of this. You can name this whatever you want. Just name it so it's easy for you to know. Register solid affiliate endpoint, okay? We're gonna save this and enable it. But because this is a, um, because this isn't a my listing website, uh, you need to do a, a bit more, okay? So bear with me one second. I'm gonna actually log into uh, my listing club website and uh, Grab a couple other snippets that I've already implemented here. 
page. So this is a bonus. This is, again, this does not relate to my listing, but I want to show you the differences because there are going to be people that see this video that have websites that are not my listing. I want to show them how to do this and how, what is different. Okay. Um, so the next one up here, I'm going to create another snippet. So this one registers the endpoint with WooCommerce it says, Hey, uh, let's, I want to add an affiliate endpoint to, to WooCommerce. That's all it's doing. Okay. New snippet. Um, WooCommerce solid affiliate endpoint URL. With this one, we are setting, we're saying, okay, we've registered the affiliate endpoint. Now let's specify what that URL is for that endpoint. And that's basically calling the affiliate portal, okay, for, for solid affiliate. So let's en enable this, toggle it on. And we've got one more snippet, really simple stuff. This one's called, I'm calling this one WooCommerce endpoints. Okay, and let's copy that and paste that in. What this one is doing is saying, um, you'll look here on line 11, we're just saying that we're taking that what we've already registered with that first code snippet and we're calling it here and we're placing it in our menu. So we're saying, um, hey, let's drop it in here and you can see the placement. Get my cursor thing here to work. There we go. We're saying place it after payment methods and before customer logout. So um, after payment methods and before logout, okay? So when I refresh this, let's go ahead and duplicate this tab. Um, we should see right, ab right above logout, we should see an affiliate endpoint. There we go. So now when you click that affiliate endpoint, um, it is broken and I need to update my guide. And the reasons that is just the, the plural versus singular. So if I change that to affiliate, there you go. Okay. But again, I am the admin. So that's why I'm seeing this. I'm not actually an affiliate. Uh, I'm the admin. We're going to look at this um, here in a second as a real world situation as an affiliate. So don't worry about that right now. But the important part is that, is that we now have that endpoint is in there. Okay. Really cool. We didn't have to set up another page and drop the, the portal short code in or anything like that. It's all integrated um, right there in WordPress and WooCommerce. Okay, uh, da, 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 da. as uh, with my listing, by default, my listing includes a set of WooCommerce endpoints. So to get the affiliate endpoint to show up, you need to create a new WooCommerce menu and add the desired endpoint. Okay, so now I wanna show you the difference. Let me pull up my, uh, let me pull up my test, my listing site here. All right, so I have a demo, a demo of my listing site. Uh, nothing else, just the demo. As you see here, if I go up under the, the menu, call, there's a lot of names for this, the dashboard, user dashboard, the dashboard, the my account menu, the user menu, however you wanna call it. But as you see here, it's pre-built into my listing. I haven't done anything. This stuff is just in there, okay, by default. If we go back into appearance and menus in WordPress, we don't see, well, we actually do. So this is this is in there, it's because, it's because I imported the demo. When I'm testing this stuff, I don't use the, the demos usually. So this menu doesn't even exist, right? So let me show you that. Let's just get rid of this. Okay, so right now we have no WooCommerce menu. Let me refresh the front end. There we go. This is how it looks. If you don't import the demo just out of the box by default with my listing, you're gonna get all of the, this pre-built WooCommerce menu. But if you look in the menus, you'll see we don't even actually have that menu anywhere. It's, there's, it just doesn't exist. It's, just, it's not there. Um, and the reason being is because this WooCommerce menu has not been um, custom, custom built, custom added, if you will, right? So if I jump over here and I do create new menu, and the reason you might wanna do this is because you might say, I don't wanna show orders in here. I don't wanna show, downloads is a good example. Like I don't wanna show downloads in here. So let's show, um, let's edit the menu, customize it, not show this. Now there's other plugins that you can use to hide this stuff, but. Um, you can also just do it within WordPress. So let's just call this uh, 
WooCommerce, or you can call it like user user menu or whatever. But you got it. the key is you have to set this to be the WooCommerce menu, so it overrides what my listing builds by default. Okay, so now if I refresh this my listing site, go up under the user menu, we see there's nothing there, and the reason being we haven't added any added any items to it. Okay, so let's just add our solid affiliate stuff to this, okay? So under, Woo under WooCommerce endpoints, you can go and you can add all of your stuff in there, right? Uh, but we're just gonna work with the solid affiliate stuff right now. And the difference with uh, like my site that doesn't have my listing installed versus a my listing site is with my listing, you just need one code snippet, okay? Because the WooCommerce menu is already built, okay? So let me grab that code snippet from the guide All right, so we're gonna go under WP Code Box again. We're gonna create a new snippet. Register the solid affiliate endpoint and just with some simple code, drop this in, save, enable. Now let's go back and refresh uh, our menu system. Okay, let's expand WooCommerce endpoints. There we go. There's our registered affiliate portal import. In, uh, in point. So we drop that in, save our menu. Let's refresh on the front end. Bam, there we go. There's that, there's that in point. Now it doesn't work again because I got to go back and I got to, I got to fix this singular, um, instead of affiliates, I needed to say affiliate it. So I need to change that after this video. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, there's two my account pages. You see that slug right there, my account dash two. Um, let me go fix that real quick. Now, the, you'll this is a little sidebar here. Um, I, I put a poll on the My Listing Club uh, Facebook group here recently. Yeah, I think it was yesterday. And I asked, like, are you okay if I make mistakes? Are you okay if I wing some of this? Um, do you want me to prepare 100% and try to be perfect with all this? I didn't really... I wasn't really shocked that people were fine with me um, with me fumbling along with certain things, uh, which I just did. Like I'm not perfect by any means. I'm not saying that just to get me off the hook, but you know, stuff happens, and when you're working with with demo sites and thing, staging sites and all that, all these different sites, like um, just stuff can happen. It's impossible to account for everything. Okay, um, so. If you're one of those people, there were a couple of people um, that didn't really say many flat, very flattering things about uh, basically saying that I want me to be perfect. Uh, like maybe the channel's not for you. I'm just saying. Uh, anyway, little sidebar there. I'm gonna make mistakes. It's not perfect. I actually enjoy that when I watch um, other people go on their YouTube channel and they're just they they wing a lot of it. You know, I did prepare a lot of information for this ahead of time and test a lot of things, but not everything's perfect guys. All right. Okay. So now let's go up under there and let's check out our endpoint. Uh, still calling that it's probably caching. I'll just manually change this. So what this should be is my account, my dash account slash affiliate. Yeah. And my listing is also notorious for permalink issues. Uh, so let's go to settings, permalinks. And another reason why I like to just troubleshoot this stuff on the fly with you guys is because this is stuff that people don't always know. Like, would you know to go flush your permalinks to go to where I just did and click save a few times? No, most likely you will not know that. Okay, so now let's refresh. And let's change that to affiliate. Uh, I don't know why that's not going. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go back here. I know why it's not going. It's a custom link. Um, so I need to go into the link, into the menu, and manually edit it in here. Now, let me just test this link from here before I save the menu. Could be that I brain farted this and I need to do another snippet. 
Um, but I don't think so. That's not, no, it should be fine. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, see, brain fart. Um, solid affiliate is not even in here. <laughs> So that is why. Okay, guys, just ignore me. The main thing is that the the um, the endpoint is there. That's all you would need to do, and it would just work. I'm just brain farting it because stupid solid solid affiliates not even in there. Um, if you want to if you want to see if 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 I'm being true about that, honest about that or not, let's just quickly set it up. Uh, we won't even do the settings. We're just gonna blow through the install, and we should be good to go. So activate. We're just going to keep blowing through all of this, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yep. Go, go, go. And another thing I want to mention is like in my first test runs with solid affiliate, if you have a light mode website and, 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 and that sort of thing, I mean, you can have your affiliate system set up in a matter of minutes. I just go the extra mile to like learn what all of these settings are for you. Um, challenge the vendor on some settings, like if I don't agree with them, um, show you how to optimize this stuff, uh, as I showed you with using WP Code Box for adding the CSS. Um, my recommendations, like just based on my experience of what I would and wouldn't do and things like that. So I hope you understand, like if you have a light mode website and you're setting this up yourself, you can do it in minutes. It's just how long it's taken me to do this is just for instructional purposes. Okay, I just wanted to get that out there. Okay, so we've got solid affiliate installed. Now, when I hit refresh here, it should just work because it's calling what it needs to call, and there it is. So that was it. All right, um, that is it for that, okay? Let's move on back to our settings here. Uh, let's see. Just to keep from being confused, I'm gonna move some of these screens back out of here. And we'll continue on with our settings. Okay, so back in our settings, we are now at the integrations uh, piece. Let me find my instructions. Got too many tabs open. There we go. Okay, so integrations. We are under the integrations tab. So let's go ahead and switch to that. It's the next tab down here in our settings. What did I do here? Uh, WooCommerce is enabled by default, so we don't need to do anything there. Just, you actually can't even turn that off if you wanted to, which is a good thing. Um, I am not using PayPal because I'm not doing cash payouts. I am doing store credit, so I don't need this integration. If you wanna pay out with PayPal, you know, go ahead and turn this on, run through the settings. Um, since I switched from MailChimp over to MailPoet, um, I don't use this or don't need this integration. If you have MailChimp, um, just enable it and configure it and you should be good to go, okay? Uh, we're gonna move down to emails. What did I do here? Uh, under email notifications, I toggled off these top two and the reason being, is I don't need to approve people. I don't need to know like when someone makes a, you know, a sale or anything like that. I just want the notifications to go to my affiliates, okay? Um, that's all I care about here. So those top two are disabled. Okay. Um, so that's that. Now, next up is the email templates. Um, what's really cool about this is, um, you can right here, you can change the name of the subject. That's not the cool part. It's cool, but not that cool. But if you go to, um, if you go to the solid affiliate website, you can actually grab pre-made templates um, and then drop them right in here. So you don't have to know HTML yourself uh, and, and that sort of thing. Um, let me grab from my site, uh, I'm gonna grab what I used. So I'm gonna pull up solid affiliate on my on the My Listing Club website. And I'm going to go to, where's that, settings and emails, I'm gonna show you this right here. So this is the My Listing Club website. As you can see, the template's different. See how that's different? It's got my branding and stuff on it. So if we go back over to this business, we see it's just 
the solid affiliate stuff, okay? So what I'm gonna do, because I've already done this legwork, is I'm just gonna copy all of the HTML that I've already done, okay? And I actually did this by hand, but you can, like I said, you can grab um, pre-built email templates for each of these different types of emails from the solid affiliate website, okay? So I, I switch, I'm gonna switch over to the text tab. This, you know, basically this is where you drop your code in instead of from the visual side. I'm gonna select all of this code, clear it out, and drop mine in, okay? Swip, switch back to the visual tab and boom, just like that, we're pretty much good to go. The only difference is the logo, okay? In here, um, the logo is called. So if I do a search for club, there it is. We see that the image is gonna, if they click on the image in the email, the solid affiliate email, it's gonna link them to my website. Um, and then I'm, this is the link to my image, okay? So that's how that gets put in there. Uh, let me go and grab my logo. Um, we'll just use We'll just use this one for now. So you're just gonna copy the URL, go back to the HTML, and I'm gonna drop this in. So I'm just, all I'm doing is just pasting in that path that I copied, okay? And I wanna change the website to be wpturnedup.com, okay? Let's go back to the visual tab. There we go. So now I've got my logo in there. It's gonna to link to my website, and that's all we need to do. Because my website, the branding on all my websites is the same intentionally, then it's, it just makes all of this easier. Um, so another thing you can do is you can click this button right here, send test email to the affiliate managers. I am the affiliate manager because I am just the only one running the show. So you can actually see how this looks in your email client, which I definitely recommend you do, okay? Okay, so that is that. I think we're good to go with that one. I'm just gonna go down here to the next section, which switch to the text tab, and then um, I'm just gonna grab my template that I made, and I'm gonna drop it in here. So what you would do is, you know, if you say you wanna make this dark mode, entirely 100% dark mode, there's a template from Solid Affiliate, Affiliate, grab it from the website, drop it in this tab, make any adjustments, and you're good to go, okay? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these in here and then I'm gonna circle back and then put in that logo over and over again, okay? So I just grab the next one, come back over here, paste it in, let's go down to the final one and we'll grab it and paste it in. Thanks for bearing with me while I do this. Okay, so that's the four, the four that I'm worried about here. Um, far as templates go, okay? So I'm gonna go back to my original template here and I'm gonna grab that text that corresponds with the logo, okay? So I'm just gonna grab these two lines and find that the, those two corresponding lines in these other two templates and just replace them, okay? Uh, where are they at, where are they at? Oh, you know what, brain farted that. These other ones don't have the logos, so. There we go. So these are actually good to go, my fault. But again, once you get them configured, send a test to yourself using this button, make sure they look okay, make sure the subject, email subjects are what you want them to say. By default, it should be pretty good. Moving on down, I would change this wording because I'm, again, a one-man show. If you're just a one-person business, you probably wanna change this too. You've been invited to join the WP turned up referral program. Share this link to earn cash or, uh, see, you don't wanna say cash. Share this link to earn store credit. Okay, so important that that language, that that language makes sense for your business, all right? Um, I'm actually updating this on the club website because that is a, section, a setting that I actually missed. Uh, you haven't been invited to join the my listing club referral program, share this link to earn store credit. Okay, so that would have been bad because they would have seen that and thought, oh, I can earn cash, but they can't really earn cash the way that mine is set up, okay? All right, so those are good to go. Uh, 
right, I'll go back to my guide here. So what I did, again, when I was editing these templates that I just showed you, what I did um, was replace the solid affiliate header logos with my own logos, remove the solid affiliate footer logos. Now, one thing I did consider, I might still do this. I don't know. It's just, I have this thing where if something doesn't match my branding, I have a hard time with it. But if you're an affiliate, let's say for a solid affiliate, and you wanted to include their logo at the, at the in the footer of your emails and say, you know, um, solid affiliate helped with this or, or whatever. And then in that, you could link that image with your actual affiliate link to solid affiliate and maybe make a commission that way if you wanted. So I didn't do that. I chose just to go with my own branding instead. Uh, I adjusted the colors, buttons, et cetera, all to match my branding, as you can see here. Okay, so that's enough with the email. We're gonna go on to miscellaneous. All right, what did I change here? I didn't touch any of the settings in this area, but I recommend you look at them. Okay, so I just left everything in here as is. Let's move on to the subscription renewal referrals. Uh, if you're using WooCommerce subscriptions on your website, you can reward affiliates every time an ongoing subscription payment is made to the customer they refer. So that's the setting right here. I like to set the subscription renewal rate to a lower rate, 5%, which you can see here. We did that during the setup wizard. Um, I like to set it the lower rate than the default commission rate of 20% since the affiliate will be awarded repeatedly. So you're every month, as long as that person customer stays signed up, you're going to get the affiliates going to get 5% every month. Boom, boom, boom for each subscription. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's cool. Uh, let's move on. We're now, we didn't make any changes there. So let's go down to add ons here. That's down here under solid affiliates here. Let's click on add-ons. I disable everything except for, some people really like affiliate landing pages. I just, I haven't gotten around to finding a, a need for those and set those up, um, but you can set that up. I, I toggle that off and I don't need to export solid affiliate data right now. Like, so that's goes off. All I end up with is auto create a coupon for the affiliates and store credit. So those are the add-ons I roll with. Uh, affiliate program page. So this is essentially the page like where you're advertising what your um, affiliate program is about. Okay, so there's no settings actually to change, to save on here. You just toggle them and they save. All right, so look, let's look at setting up an affiliate uh, program page. So all you're gonna do is the set up a page as you normally would. We're gonna call this affiliate program. I'm gonna edit this page with Elementor. Now I'm actually gonna grab, uh, I'm gonna grab, um, I'm gonna grab the template, my own template that I created for the My Listing Club because it's gonna look identical. So I'm gonna export this template this template is available from the club website. I've, I've published it. You can download it and grab it if you want. This is going to be the exact process. Okay, so we're going to click import template, the import template icon, and we're going to go ahead and find that template in our downloads folder. And sort by creation date, insert the affiliate program template in. Boom, just like that, because my branding is the same between my sites, it's gonna look um, it's gonna look identical. I think the only thing I would change here is probably um, probably that. Probably don't need to say affiliate program highlights, but maybe I could just say highlights. Who knows? But you get the idea. Okay, all of this is the same because it's the same branding, uh, except for anywhere you see the word club. Um, that needs to be changed. I'm not gonna do it in this video. But this is exactly how it's gonna be set up, uh, aside from changing the word club to WP turned up or whatever. But that, that's, that's how the process would go for you as well, okay? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save this as a draft and just move on. Um, actually, you know, let's just do this. No one, I don't think anyone's gonna see this, this that fast. So let's go ahead and just publish it just so I can get it out there and show you how this thing works. 
I don't think anyone's going to stumble upon it. They have to know that it's there, which they won't. Um, so that's cool. So we created a page named affiliate program. Uh, we designed the page as desired, include a call to action button link, et cetera, that links to your, my account endpoint. Okay. So let me go here, Let's pull up our pages. Here's that new page. We just created affiliate program. So let's view that on the front end. And when I say we want a CTA that links to our my account endpoint, that's that's this guy right here. So the only CTA on this page is to log in and I say the steps. And again, this goes back to the endpoint. We want them to first log into your site before they do anything else. Otherwise, they're going to get potentially hit with that that um, that message that says, hey, you already have a, an account on this website. Here's the login link. And if they hit that link, they're gonna get the WordPress dashboard, which we don't want. So as my steps say here, step one, log in, step two, join, step three, earn. So let's log in, click that CTA. It drops us right into the My Account dashboard. Uh, I'm already logged in. If I wasn't logged in, it would have just said log in. They're gonna go here to the affiliate endpoint. And once they do that, like I'm not an affiliate, right? So uh, I'm not going to be an affiliate as the admin of the site. So that's why it looks like this. Again, it won't look like this for other people. And we're going to test this here shortly and show you exactly how it works. Okay, let's go back to our settings. And now we're going to go to uh, creatives. So that's right here. What this is, is embedding assets, brand assets, logos, banners, whatever, for people to use to represent you when um, they're your affiliate. So let's say they go to a Facebook group and they wanna advertise for you, then they can drop a banner in and their link and, and so on and so forth. It's how they represent you, okay? Um, so all you're gonna do is click add new and you can give it a name just for your identification. Uh, it is gonna be shown on the front end too, but you don't have to put a name in there. Um, so I'll just put like logo, you can put a description if you want. Um, the uh, So we actually need the URL of the image. So let's go over here. Let's grab that logo again. We will grab this one. Just gonna click copy URL. And then uh, drop that right here. Let's go ahead and click add new creative just to get that created. And let's go to the front end here. I'm not an affiliate yet, so we're not gonna be able to see it. Okay, we'll circle back to that. Uh, we'll, we're gonna get logged in as an actual affiliate and we'll see how, how this is going to appear. So that's actually wrong. So let me go back in here. So you see here, that's the URL when, the, when it's actually clicked. So this is the image URL. Sorry, I brain farted that. This is the link that they will go to, which should be somewhere on your website, wherever you want them to go. Let's just put the homepage in for now. So let's update this creative and look at it here on the front end. So let's go to creatives. So here we go. When the creative is clicked, let's go to the homepage, okay? The name of the creative is logo. It's active. This is a preview. This is on the here on the right hand side here. That's how the logo is going to look to them, for the most part. Okay. Uh, okay. It's time. Let's get into actually testing this. Let's see how it looks from the affiliate side of things. Okay. I'm going to close down some screens over here just for simplicity. Okay. So on my screen here, this is another browser. I'm already logged into uh, my staging site for, for the My Listing Club. This isn't for the business we're setting up now. And the reason is because at this point, if I really wanted to test the WP turned up um, affiliate process, I would want to, um, I host with Keensta, so or whoever you host with, or maybe you have staging some other way through a plugin or a service or something. What I would want to do is once I get to this point and have everything set up, ready to test, I want to create a fresh copy of my live site into staging where I'm going to test everything. Two reasons for that. One is you don't pollute your analytics, your sales analytics. Um, and two, um, by testing and staging, um, totally lost track of what I was saying. One is uh, don't pollute your, your analytics. 
Oh, and two, um, you can put your payment gateways into test mode. So you can run as many tests as you want. So um, you can that way you can test the purchasing of actual products that have pricing and see that um, the referral credits, commissions coming in. So that's a really cool thing. Um, all right, so that's, that's the reasoning for that. Okay, so here I am logged in uh, as an affiliate. Let's go ahead and log out. Let's just, let's just work through this, okay? So you hit the My Listing Club website, go to menu or however else you get them. I think I've got this in the footer. Um, it's not here on this site, but it's in the footer on the live My Listing Club site. Um, you go up under menu. All right, it's, yeah, it's not there, okay. But it would take you um, my account. So let's go to my account. And then they're gonna log in. So what, let's, let's back up. So what you would have, let's let's pretend that the affiliate was under here or it was in your footer. The link that it would actually go to is affiliate. Or affiliates, I gotta get my S's and plural and singulars figured out. Um, oh, I can't spell. Affiliate. There we go. Nope, that's the wrong one. Uh, affiliates. There we go. Um, but you see this person hasn't registered as an affiliate yet, right? So let's just go ahead and uh, sign this person up. But because they're not logged in, that's why you kind of, you hope they get logged in, but if they don't, that's fine. Um, This is probably gonna cause an issue. We'll see, register as an affiliate. Okay, there we go, it's fine. So typically they'd be logged in, they don't have to be, and then they would see the affiliate endpoint under here, uh, or affiliate link under here, and they click on it and it would bring them here and then to their affiliate. Once they click into that, they're good to go. Okay, so it's all good. I hope that makes sense, uh, it's just, it's more confusing because I'm bouncing between so many sites here, but if when, when you're setting this up for yourself, it'll be super clear, super easy. Um, it's just because I have to show it to you this way, it looks a little more confusing. Um, now, here's another thing. All of that CSS that I created builds this. This is not how this looks by default, okay? And be, again, it looks fine out of the box, but I have a dark mode website. Okay, so let me show you, um, show you the difference. How can I show you the difference? Uh, da, 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 da. Let me think here, thinking on the fly, how I can show you the difference. Let's go there, let's go there. Let me get it pulled up on my other screen and then I'll show you. Oh yeah, that's how I'll do it, okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna toggle off, I'm gonna disable the, the CSS snippet for WP Co within WP Code Box, okay? Okay, so I'm just gonna toggle that snippet off. Okay, that's done. So let me duplicate this tab so we can do a before and after. Again, solid affiliate, um, happy to give you this code if you if you like it. There you go, look at the difference. Now, if you have a light mode website, this looks great, out of the box, um, good to go, unless you maybe you wanna change some colors uh, to match your branding, but look at the difference, okay? I just, I prefer my design personally. The only thing I need to keep, a, keep tabs on here, uh, again, this looks this way because I have got CSS that's being called in here. This is not a problem with solid, solid affiliate. This is my CSS that's kind of impacting the way that some of this looks, okay, by default, okay? Um, so it looks good out of the box. You just need to adjust it for your branding. If you want, it's totally optional, all right? But let me show you the difference here. I went through every single tab in here and designed it differently. So, or not differently, but just according to dark mode. So you see how this, I love how this looks personally. Maybe you don't, that's okay. 
Um, but what I need to keep an eye on, and I'm gonna update this snippet as my program goes along and I start getting stats in here, I wanna see how this stuff displays and I'll probably have to hit it with some more CSS. So I will update that snippet and let everybody know, excuse me, if dark mode is something that you're interested in. Okay, here is the creatives that I wanted to show you. Um, so this is, I gave it a name, vertical landscape logo. I didn't put a description in there. Um, this is the logo. If you were to click this um, link or this, this image, it's gonna link to the website. If I download it, we'll see that it downloaded an SVG version of this file. That's the file version that I uploaded. Um, if you wanna embed this into a website, I need to work on the CSS for that. I will do that after this video. Uh, I didn't test that ahead of time. Um, same thing, if you want this version of the logo, download it, et cetera, et cetera, okay? But I wanted to show you how those come across. All right, all of this has been designed, everything has been designed. I mean, all the way down to how these, the field inputs look. Um, these are showing you your custom slugs. Uh, and you can create your own, you can delete them, create a new one. So let's say you wanted just to send somebody to my listing club slash uh, store page. What if you wanted to send them straight to the store? You know, just cut to the chase, send them to the store, get them shopping, that sort of thing. Click create here. It's gonna give you that custom slug. That's weird. All right, didn't like something in there. Oh, that's, oh, I got it. So you can put, okay, that's a brain fart. So you can put whatever. So instead of like, you can just put, uh, I don't know, store, create. Um, that thing, if you want a custom slug. Another thing you can do is up here is where I meant to put that other one. What if you wanted to send them straight to the store? You could just put that custom URL in there, call the slug, uh, or call the, um, call it shop now, please create. So now the shop now, please is gonna go directly to that store page, or it should have. Um, maybe it's just inherent in there. I don't know, it should have put that store link in there. Yeah, this should have a slash store in it, I would think. Enter any page from our site. Um, let me make sure, maybe it's, maybe I got the link wrong here. See how it's recreating that link right there? That should work. Go to, yeah, that should work. That's interesting. All right, let me copy that directly. Let's try this again. It's showing there that that's fine. Again, this CSS is all jacked up. I need to I need to work on that. Um, I'm not sure how that got flipped around, but I think it's because of WP Cobox being off. I'm 99% sure that's it. So let's flip that back on. Make this make this easier to see for all of us. There we go. Okay. So we should be able, again, we should be able to put, let me just delete these. Delete. Sorry, this is staging too, so it's gonna be slower than the actual, your actual live website. Okay, um, so URL generator. Yeah, it should just be put store in there. It's gonna make me put a slug in there, so uh, let's put something else. Uh, please buy. Interesting. All right, I'll bring this up with solid affiliate, but it should have, it should be in there. Um, let's see, let me follow this link just for fun. Yeah, that's not being embedded in there. It could be a setting that I screwed up somewhere, but I don't think so. Anyway, I'll, I'll check it out and see what's going on. All right. Um, 
let's see where we're at. I think we need to get going with testing this stuff. Um, yeah, let's get going with testing with this stuff. And um, it works pretty much out of the box uh, in my testing, but I want to run through the testing with you so you know what to check for and all of that good stuff. Okay, so let's test the affiliate sign up. Um, let me see here. Sorry for all the tabs again. I'm going to close all of these. We're done with this site. I will circle back to that when we're done with the video. This is our test user um, viewing it from the front end. So I need to get to the back end, which is here. Okay, so we'll have the back end open. Okay, so let's go ahead and minimize this and let's get to testing. Okay, so let's go start over at the home page. Let's go here and let's log out. As my affiliate, uh, I'm gonna delete this affiliate so we can start over. Another thing I'm gonna show you too, uh, hopefully I don't forget, is I'm gonna show you how you can preview the portal um, as the as if you were the affiliate, you can view it from the back end. It's really, really cool stuff. Okay, uh, all right, the affiliate's gone. We've got a clean, we've got a clean um, situation here. Again, let's pretend that the affiliate program was launched. People know about it, or you've got links, links, links in your on your website and stuff like that. And they've now hit this page that you've created. Okay, uh, they read through here, they're interested in joining and all that, they click log in. Again, all of the stuff that I'm doing is to help get us around that default WordPress dashboard login screen that I don't think anybody wants, okay? Um, so let's log in. I'm not requiring anybody to get um, to approval or anything like that. Be a, to be an affiliate on my particular business. So they come here, they're logged in, they go to affiliate. It says right here, your account will automatic will be automatically approved and you can start earning referrals immediately, okay? So no approval process, let's just agree to the terms, register as an affiliate. Okay, there's our pretty dashboard that's been custom designed. Um, they are ready to rock, okay? Okay, so now what we need to do is in another browser. Uh, so we are in um, being here, edge edge just to test um, for testing purposes. So let's let's pull up an incognito window for Chrome. Okay, pull this guy up here. Now, we know that we're in, we're in here as this person. We can actually copy their affiliate link here, okay? So now we're just a casual shopper. We're, we're on the club website, we're, we're, no, we're just, we're browsing, we have no idea what we wanna do. But somehow they ended up here on the website with this affiliate link. Now, because I am visiting the site with this affiliate link, it stores it as a cookie, okay? This is this affiliate's customer at this point if they buy, all right, for 30 days. They have 30 days. If they buy in that window, this is their customer, okay? Cookies are stored. If you click on the lock and you click on cookies and site data, um, manage the cookies, you'll see like they're stored in here, okay? So if you ever need to clear the cookies, this is where you go and click delete, okay? All right. Okay, so now I've got the affiliate code in. I am shopping. I go to the store and I'm like, uh, yeah, there's some cool stuff here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy the project template. Let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna add that to the cart. And I am in test mode here. Um, the, again, like I said, I'm in staging, I'm in test mode for my payment gateway, which is Stripe in this particular case. 
I can test this stuff um, and pay full pay in air quotes, full price for this stuff. All right. No need to mess with coupon codes or anything like that. You want that price to, to, to kick in. Okay. All right. Let's check out. Um, let me see. I think I can log in here. I should have, uh, I know we'll just go through the whole thing. Um, Chuck Norris lives in the United States. One, one, one West North Charlotte, North Carolina, two, eight, two. Two eight, type two eight two seven seven. Um, we'll say his address is my actual. Let's see. We'll do w turned up here. Wp turned up. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that, and then I'm gonna grab one of the Stripe test cards. You can just Google this too, uh, if you don't know it by heart. It's like, um, just type in Google Stripe test cards and it's gonna give you cards to test. You just copy copy the number. You can use any valid expiration date and then any, any card code works. Okay, so this is just, again, for testing purposes. I'm gonna say I agree to the terms and let's place the order. Okay, order is placed. Now we let's go back here um, into our refresh our affiliate dashboard. So here we see we've got our referral, uh, how many visits that person made. This is our earnings from that twenty dollars sale. Um, the things you want to check is to make sure that the commission value is what what it, you know it is what you expect. Clicking on the referrals tab, you can see some information about the source and stuff. Click on details. You can see some, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll adjust all of this CSS. I just haven't gone through all of this, but I got the main part done. Again, your site probably won't be dark mode anyway, but if it is, uh, just keep an eye out on me updating people on, um, with, on that CSS. All right, so it gives you information, which product was bought, price, commissionable amount, uh, ref what rate, referral rate was used. In this case, it was the default 20, and this is the commission that they made. Uh, what else? Visits, where they where they came from. Uh, I didn't use a coupon um, for this purchase, but I could have to give that person uh, a ten dollar gift. Uh, so that's what this tab right here is. This coupon. If you want to send people this coupon, then you could give them a ten dollar uh, kind of like a refer a friend. Uh, so give them like a ten dollar head start. Uh, creatives, like I said, you know what that is. It's the logos and stuff that you can use to represent um, the business. These are your affiliate links. You can create custom links in here. Lifetime customers. So I just signed up. So this is saying that Ryan at WP Turned Up is my customer for life as long as they're um, being a customer on this for this business. Okay. Um, store credit. Um, it When the store credit accumulates, uh, which in this case, it accumulates right away, even if it's um, just a dollar. The reason it's not showing is we gotta get through that 30 day grace period, okay? Um, that's all adjustable as you know, okay? So that's what that looks like from um, the affiliates point of view. But like I said, you can actually see this as the admin. So here I am, I'm gonna refresh I'm in my dashboard as the, the business owner now, okay? So I see that, you know, here's my affiliate that signed up. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can edit information about them, their user account. This is what I wanted to show you, uh, the preview portal. So if you click this, you get to see the portal as if you were them. So all of that same information that I just showed you, the creatives, the affiliate links, the visits, the referrals, all of that stuff is in there, okay? So it's really cool because then you don't have to, Go and ask the affiliate, like, hey, are you seeing this? Uh, does our, does our, our data match up? Like, you're going to see it just like they see it. So that's really, really cool for troubleshooting and 
just keeping tabs on stuff. And this really cool here, it shows you with this, this icon, it says, hey, these are grayed out. This, these affiliates can't even see this stuff, right? So that's, that's pretty cool too. Okay, and, and there's a lot of other stuff here. There's groups, you can group your affiliates um, based on certain criteria and then give them a commission. So right now it's site default. Um, so if I could put in a group like 50% um, peeps, right? And then you could say, instead of the site default, I wanna give them a 50% referral rate, right? When you create this group, it, it makes this group name available to different rules so that you can assign later, okay? Um, lifetime, lifetime customers, again, this is that, um, this is me or I just made that purchase. This is showing all of them. You can manually go in and add a lifetime customer if you want. Product rates, you can change the value of the commission based on the product. Okay, so if we do like an add new here, um, select any product on, on the site. So maybe, maybe I don't wanna give 20% to a certain product. I wanna give 50% or I wanna give 5% or 1% or whatever. You can be selective there, okay? You can even select it based on the af certain affiliate. So you can get really granular. You can change the commission type, um, all kinds of stuff, right? Uh, moving on down, these are all the referrals. So I'm gonna show up in here and uh, this is saying that this affiliate uh, made a referral. Okay, they're unpaid. Uh, you can email them. Uh, let's see, email, refer, notification, email. Yeah, resend an email. All kinds of good stuff. Filter, you can add manually add a referral in here. Uh, payouts, we're not gonna be using that. Visits, I'm not gonna be using that. Maybe you will, but if you click on that, let's go ahead and just click on all of these. Uh, these are where your payouts would be. You could do a manual payout to your affiliates. Okay, and there's this really cool, um, you can see the history. You can do like a new payout, um, kind of walk through this tree to, to do the payout. So it's kind of like, gives you these criteria based on how to figure out how you wanna do the payouts, all right? Under commissions, um, this is just showing you a breakdown of all your commission rates and how the priorities work, okay? And all of this stuff can be adjusted. Settings, we've already gone through all of those settings. Uh, license is just your license. Uh, let's quickly look at the add-ons real quick. Um, you, know, you know what the store credit is, that one's obvious. There are settings, there are details you can click on go straight to the details um, from the Solid Affiliate website and learn more about it if you want. Um, you can click on the settings here and get in, to, um, do certain things based on each add-on. Um, if you wanna export Solid Affiliate data for whatever reason, like maybe you wanna down, uh, export it and view it um, in a different application, like maybe spreadsheets or whatever, um, or you wanna export that data before removing the plugin completely from your site, you can do that. Um, what else, what else? Uh, if you wanna auto register new users as affiliates, so um, this might be something I might wanna look into, but yeah, that, you know, I may actually do that um, now that I think about it. So someone registers for your site, set them up as an affiliate. Um, I don't think it would hurt anything to just go ahead and do that, then they don't have to go through the process. I'm gonna, th I'm gonna think through that one. Auto create a coupon for all new and approved affiliates. So this is just gonna auto generate that coupon for them to use for that refer a, refer a friend feature, I call it, and just to help, um, help them jumpstart their own affiliate sales and then help their friends um, get a jumpstart on buying stuff with a $10 gift or whatever you make that gift amount to be. Uh, landing pages, those are custom pages that you can assign to uh, a group of affiliates or just a, an affiliate, that sort of thing. Um, this beta feature, search for anything in solid affiliate. Uh, I don't really see the need for that myself right now. Uh, maybe later that will be more clear. Uh, lastly is the exclude payment gateway referrals. Um, so here's an example, like let's say you hate PayPal, you hate the refund policy. It's it's. You've had issues with them in the past. You could come in here and say, 
uh, I don't want PayPal to be involved um, in payment gateway referrals. I just don't want to deal with that. So you can exclude that. So that's what that is. Okay, guys, I think that is it. Um, yeah, in the guide, uh, I've give, I give you all the steps to test the affiliate sign up, the visits, the referrals, tracking the coupons, um, testing the commissions, which we did here. Yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, this was a long one, guys. Uh, it took me a long time to prepare for this one and test everything and document everything. So hopefully you found this valuable. Uh, please click subscribe to know when the next video comes out. And um, yeah, there's going to be some interesting, I have an interesting idea for some for a video series coming up here soon. So uh, definitely subscribe and uh, check out the other videos. All right, man, I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.